Hi guys, I am Yogita Khandelwal and in this lesson we will talk about Hardy-Weinberg principle from the topic evolution. Hardy-Weinberg principle. So in gene pool of a population, frequencies of LL are of two types. So a gene pool first of all is the total genes and their LLs in a population forms a gene pool. So, if we talk of a gene pool of a population, that is their total genes and their LL, then frequencies of LLs are of two types. Now, we have two types of LLs generally, dominant and recessive, and so does the frequencies. So, let's say P represent the frequency of dominant LL in gene pool, while Q represent frequency of recessive LL in gene pool. Now, these LL frequencies in a population are stable and is constant from generation to generation. This is Hardy-Weinberg principle. So these frequencies supposed to remain constant and even remains the same through generations. So uh, the gene pool of a population remains constant. So this is the Hardy-Weinberg principle. Sum total of all the frequencies is 1. That is P plus Q is equals to 1. So this is also known as Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So Hardy-Weinberg principle or Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, it is the same thing. It is also known as genetic equilibrium. So the sum total of all the frequencies in a population is 1. So, have P plus Q these frequencies and it is equals to 1. Frequencies of homozygous dominant. Now, uh, the let's say there is A gene. Now, the homozygous dominant LL is represented by capital A, capital A. And frequencies of it is P. So, uh, it frequencies represented by P square. Heterozygous dominant is 2 capital A small a so it is 2 pq and homozygous recessive is small a small a so it will be q square. So these frequencies remain same for several generations. So according to Hard hardy weinberg Leco, it is supposed to remain same uh, through generations and it is characteristic of non-evolving population. So hardy weinberg law is an ideal which is given for non-evolving population. So, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, we have P plus Q is equals to 1. If we square the both sides, that is, this is the binomial expansion, then it is P square plus 2PQ plus Q square. So, P square, it represents the population of frequency of homozygous dominant individual. This is frequency of heterozygous dominant and this is frequency of homozygous recessive. So, it is equals to 1. So, this is the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and this is the binomial expansion of this uh, P plus Q square. Conditions required for Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So, in what conditions does the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium apply? That is P plus Q is equals to 1. That is, it should be large-sized population. So, the population should be very large, random mating. So, uh, mating should be completely random. Every gene has equal stance to pass on next generation. And no external factor are operating like selection, mutation, gene migration and genetic drift. So, these factors should not be present. Now, because... The above three factors are generally found, but this selection, mutation, gene migration and genetic drift, they are present. That's why the frequency uh, differs from the expected value and it is not P plus Q is equals to 1. So, because of these external factors, there is disturbance in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium or genetic equilibrium and it leads to evolution. So when frequency is measured, it differs from expected values and the different indicates the extent of evolutionary change. 
so the more will be the distance more will be the evolution so this different indicates the extent of evolutionary change now factors disturbing hardy weinberg equilibrium so what are the factors that disturb hardy weinberg equilibrium and leads to evolution so first is genetic recombination so now genetic recombination occurs during gamete formation by crossing over process and it results in small and continuous variation as we all know gene migration or gene flow now uh, new genes or alleles are added to the new population and these are lost from the old population then this is the gene flow so it is between two interbreeding population because of immigrating or immigration of individuals and it is also the cause of continuous variation then we have genetic drift that we will study in detail then mutation and selection so mutation we know it is sudden heritable variation and it is main factor which cause variation in population so uh, when this when any sudden heritable or any discontinuous variation occurs then it is mutation now selection it is a directive process which operates over inbuilt variation of population and continued selection caused speciation so genetic recombination gene migration or gene flow genetic drift mutation and selection these factors they disturb hardy weinberg equilibrium and thus these cause evolution of the species so uh, they disturb uh, there's disturbance in genetic equilibrium or hardy weinberg equilibrium because of these factors that is this change of frequency of alleles in a population which is interpreted as evolution genetic drift gene migration because of random process is genetic drift effect is more visible in small interbreeding population and it is a non directional factor and it is also known as sampling error in population so change in frequency of genes in a gene pool is called genetic drift and it operates only in small population ramification of genetic drift so there are two ramifications first is genetic bottleneck effect and the founders effect so first genetic bottleneck effect reduction in genetic variability of a population because of random reason so when the genetic variability suppose there are six alleles and some of the variability in, uh, decreases then it is known as a uh, genetic bottleneck effect and when a species at are at this effect they are is on verge of extinction so uh, suppose like death of several members of a population occurs due to some natural calamities now it leads to genetic drift now the original size of population is then restored by mating among the survivor and the new population may lack the gene of certain traits they may produce a new species after the some time but the loss of selection of population it decreases the variability and thus the bottleneck effect example reduction in cheetah population because of hunting founders effect change in allele frequency is so different in the new sample of population that they become a different species the original drifted population become founders and the effect is called founder effect example in case of darwin's finches so genetic drift always operates in small population so when it occurs such that there is a uh, major change that uh, it become the original drifted population become founders for the new species then it is called founders effect now this is the picture depicting uh, bottleneck effect now here this is the genetic population and it is decrease in the alleles decrease in genetic variability so this is the bottleneck effect and this picture is depicting the founders effect so that's all thanks for watching